Stretching across streets around the city, odds are you don't even know they're there when your vehicle travels over these small rubber tubes. So what the road tubes are doing is they're collecting the number of vehicles that are crossing over them. And they're doing that by puffs of air that are is forced through the road tube into the counter and the counter records that puff of air. And then the software translates that into actual vehicles crossing the tube. At any time, 25 traffic counts can be taking place around the city. Well, the first thing you do when we're sitting down a tube is determine the location and put it down. We're usually looking for a mid-block location away from driveways, away from other intersecting roadways, and also close to a signpost or street light that we could actually attach the counter to. And then what they'll do is lay the tubes across the roadway um, at a specified distance apart and make sure that they're taut across the roadway but not too tight where air can't flow through um, into the counter and then they'll secure the tubes using concrete nails in the curb and gutter on both sides, securing the tubes and then chaining the, the counter itself to the post or sign pole. The tubes are typically left in place for 48 hours, collecting valuable data with every wheel that crosses them. After the, the tubes are picked up, um, the information is downloaded and brought into the office where um, reports are made and we can determine the volume, the speed, the classification of vehicle using the road, uh, as well as the gaps between vehicles. But what happens to the information collected? It's an important piece of the state aid funding, so we need to make sure we get accurate numbers and that we get the uh, maximum amount of dollars that we're allotted for the roadways. So and it's also important because it does determine, um, you know, if we need to do any striping changes or signing changes in neighborhoods. So for local traffic calming, for instance, if someone calls and is concerned about speeding or cut through traffic, we can uh, use the road tubes to determine that and make changes as needed.